Hey, what is up, guys? It's the fact they bring up another video. And today, yes, from last night, we had Evil Japan and we had Harada and Michael Murray on stage presenting Tekken War Tour stuff. And also, along with that, we have Leroy Smith and behind him, Asuka Kazama, which is great. We have two new characters in the game. I'm going to break them down. I'm not going to react to them in e either of their videos because the reason why I watched it last night. No, no real point in kind of reacting if I already did, but I'll just tell you my point of view from my reaction. Uh, basically, what I saw from Leroy, in my standpoint, is that he kind of is just the same character from Tekken 7. Uh... Intro is pretty much the same, uh, you know, his aesthetics is pretty much the same, his outfit looks different, of course, but it looks like something from Tekken 7 as well, not gonna lie to you, uh, outfit kind of didn't change, um, but just that same character, um, but I, what I believe in, in is that he is the same character from Tekken 7, reason why, he was his trial run, and in Tekken 8, he definitely is that meant to be character, so he looks great in terms of aesthetics, uh, and the way he looks in terms of graphics, looks good. Uh, I think that they could be more done with him, uh, but I did hear that he has some new strings and some new moves with the cane, which is sick. So we're going to go over here and break it down. Um, I'm not going to react, like I said, just more of a breakdown for you guys, for those who are casuals uh, or players who just want to break it down in general. Uh, I would like to break it down as well because I want to see what he has and get a better view of it. I do like this tower here, though. Grandmaster of Drip. All right, I like that. That's, that's insane. I love that. But all right, so same intro here. Like I said, basically the same character from Tekken 7. Nothing to see here. Not gonna lie. Alright. So it seems to be a new tracking move here that throws him into Hermit Stance. I'm thinking it's like maybe back, back, four, or four, or four, back, four, back, four, four. Like, you know, he still, I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that he still has that tracking mid that he has in Tekken 7. But this could be a whole different input, or it could be that same input. Who knows? But it throws him into Hermit here, and he does down 3 4 right after it and it still looks dude <laughs> that move is insane uh he has a couple moves that keep you standing uh in position uh we haven't i don't think we're gonna see him here uh and well, actually maybe we, we might see him in a couple seconds actually i'm lying uh but uh that down down three four right after that uh tracking four uh those win the hermit down uh down three four afterwards which is cool so that power crush there is traditionally a 4 4 1 plus 2 shoulder bump and it wall splats in Tekken 7. But it looks there that he didn't even try to like 4 4 dash whatsoever. It just may be a power crush just by itself, like no movement whatsoever to activate it. So it might just be a standing activated move, which is cool. Uh, I think that shoulder is strong. And I think, you know, these power crushes in this game are looking useful. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but here, still has a divino parry. Same follow up. Now he has a, a low that basically might track. I'm not sure. So it didn't have the uh, the blue stuff that it has with it, or like kind of like the light teal color, uh, which is tracking, and it tells you that's tracking. You know, we've seen it from the last clip here. Uh, but it's a low. It looks like it just sweeps all the way through. Maybe it could be stepped a certain way because Tekken 8 stepping looks strong. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but he uses that, that low there, and then he gets put into a stance, like kind of like a maybe a down forward stance. I'm not sure. I don't know what I don't know what you want to call it, but it gets put into a stance here and down back three, still freaking tracks. Oh, that's disgusting. I can't believe they still have that in the game. But his down back three still tracks, and it hits uh, right after that stance when Shaggy's trying to step. Cool. So look at the cane, right? So he uses has a new low with the cane and and tail flips him immediately for uh, the tail flip. So of course of course looking forward to you. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Let's look at the combo here. So it gets that off. Of course, like forward two. Now I'm not sure what that mid is. I don't know if that's like a forward one, down forward one. I'm not sure. Maybe back one. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's a new mid there that he's getting, uh, and its mid combo use is looking good. Uh, and then has a new kick here. It's a four kick. Not sure what it is though. But it uh, flips him up. He gets in the one plus two string midway through, and then the four four three to end it with. So that's cool. So new strings. So, once again, the same mid being used and applied here, right? So, let's look at that again, right? So, there's that mid right there. And then gets the 1 plus 2 right here, right? And then just parries. And this is actually a parry within the game. I forget the, I forget the actual input. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but this is within the game as well. And it's getting applied here with a string. And Shai tries to punch. Gets punch parried. Gets wall splatter completely off the parry, right? And now, Hermit for 1 plus 2 which is one of those moves that keeps you stagnant and hermit when you try to step. Not sure if you can still step it or not. But now it's being used as a relaunch or a re-wall splat, right? Ends up with the 1 plus 2 series. 
cool. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I know this isn't. I know this is a Leroy trailer. All right, but that just proved that law. All right, if you watch very very closely, we're gonna go back. All right, this just confirms that law has a DSS <laughs> down forward cancel and can get into a slide mix out of it. That's insane, right? That's insane to think about. That's a real mix. Oh my god. Congratulations to law players. Down forward two one plus two launch here. Still original. Heat smash. Down back one looks like it's a two. Up forward three plus four one plus two under. That same tracking uh, high kick is now is also a counter hit launcher. Get in a one plus two series with the shoulder bumps, and that heat engages, and then he gets his uh, heat special, or I guess I'm gonna call it uh, move here one plus two into a double palm. Down one plus two heat engages one plus two series here heat burst. One plus two ender. Nice. Sick. Awesome. All right. So let's go back and analyze that real quick. So this full combo here. Also, it was the one one. It was the one 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 plus two ender as well. So gets his parry here, which is I believe it's gonna be down back one plus two, and that parries and launches and gives him the heat dash. Forward forward four one, to tail flip. And uses the down forward two plus three chain here, and I believe it's going to be obviously one use per round, or, or, or I should say game. Round would be insane. Game, oh, Jesus Christ, no, no, God no. And then the down back two ender, back one plus two still counter it launches, and here's your rage arc. Now, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. I'm kind of a fan of it. Still the one inch punch, of course. New animation. Look at the dragon. That's insane though. Not gonna lie, great animation there. All right, so from there, and we and we have the dog on the side, of, uh, sugar, on the side, right, with the red, <laughs> with the red hoodie and the chain. Yo, the drip is immaculate with these characters. All right, it's immaculate. But I would say personally, uh, from getting a, like another better view at it and really trying to analyze this, uh, like I said, still the same character, has some new moves, looks good. Uh, I'm happy for it. Uh, Leroy is pretty much like the character of the game right now, I would say. Uh, he's supposed to be like Tekken 8's finest, I would say. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're going to do Asuka as well, so be on the lookout for that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.